Conservation Corner, presented by Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Hi, I'm Captain Mike, editor of Florida Sport Fishing Magazine and the host of Florida Sport Fishing TV. You know, we're always so focused on talking about different tips and tricks to make you a more successful angler, we rarely have the time to focus on some really important issues that are affecting anglers and boaters all over the state of Florida and beyond. One of these issues is invasive species, and right now, lionfish are our absolutely biggest threat. Native to reefs and rocky shorelines in the South Pacific, Indian Ocean, and the Red Sea, lionfish are currently our biggest threat. Given their population explosion and aggressive behavior, lionfish have the potential to become the most disastrous marine invasion in history by drastically reducing the abundance of coral reef fish and leaving behind a devastated ecosystem. Lionfish were first reported off Florida's coast near Dania Beach in 1985. We don't know for sure how they were first introduced into our waters, but we do know the invasion began with only a handful of fish. Lionfish are stalking predators that often corral prey into a corner. They can consume fish and crustaceans that are more than half their size and are known to prey on more than 70 different types of marine fish and invertebrates, including juvenile yellowtail snapper, grouper, parrotfish, shrimp, lobster, and a wide variety of cleaner species. Lionfish compete for food with native predatory game fish and negatively impact the overall reef habitat by eliminating organisms that serve important ecological roles, such as fish and shrimp that keep algae in check. Adult lionfish spread their pectoral fins and use them to herd prey. They are the only species known to blow water at their victims before devouring them in one merciless gulp. In densely populated areas, lionfish have consumed more than 95% of the local species. Adult lionfish are very protective to a particular location, meaning once they find suitable habitat, they tend to stay there and can reach densities of more than 200 adults per acre. In the 2000s, while reports from South Florida continued, sightings began to be recorded off the mid-Atlantic coast. And since, lionfish reports have increased rapidly up and down the entire eastern seaboard. As of 2010, they have even invaded the northern Gulf of Mexico and now are a huge problem in the Gulf as well. Lionfish are primarily red, brown, and white and have a striped, zebra-like appearance. They grow to just over 12 inches in length and can reach maturity in less than a year and have a unique way of spawning. Females release two gelatinous egg masses of about 15,000 eggs each, which float and drift for up to 25 days. Unfortunately for you and I, they can do this every four days, which explains how the invasion has expanded so rapidly. While they are certainly intriguing in appearance, lionfish are poisonous with 18 venomous spines that are used defensively against predators. These spines must be avoided during capture and handling because of their ability to cause painful injuries. However, the mild flesh of the lionfish is not poisonous or venomous and is considered a delicacy. Those who have tasted it compare it to fresh snapper. Lionfish are threatening Florida's saltwater fish, our precious wildlife, and our fragile habitat. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission encourages anglers and divers to remove all lionfish from Florida waters to help limit negative impacts to native marine life and ecosystems. I'll tell you what, lionfish can be speared. They can be caught in handheld nets or on hook and line. There's absolutely no recreational or commercial bag limit, so kill them all. If you're uncomfortable touching lionfish, remember that all lionfish sightings can be reported to the Reef Environmental Education Foundation at reef.org. If we all work together, we can stop or at the very least minimize the negative impact of this relentless alien invader.